Hello everyone and welcome to Moonride, where we're chanting the man in the moon. Uh, just to let you know, I do do private readings. I lowered my prices just a little bit because of the uh, economic times. If you would like to uh, have a private reading, just take a look at my website, which you can see uh, below the byline here. Uh, I also do shamanic journeys, if that is your preference. Uh, just take a look at the website. Today I want to uh, check out uh, Trump's next moves. There are some really important political events that are going on uh, right now and I want to get some idea. Please keep in mind that uh, at best I could be maybe 80% accurate. I'd be really happy if that were the case. So hopefully my intuitions jive with your own intuitions. That is one uh, purpose of this channel. Not to tell you what's going to happen but to get you to sort of see you know, how does this work for me uh, and uh, does it compare with, I think, what uh, I think will. All right, so let's take a look. <clears throat> so, Spirit, what's Trump going to do? He's really uh, pushing a couple of things. So imagine um, Trump kind of standing like an angle like a right angle and it's becoming narrower and narrower that's sort of where I see him with his you know fury furiously trying to narrow things um, and put them in a way from his perspective right so um, that that I have a feeling of this but uh, it's more, there's more let's get more specific what what does that mean um, the uh, ballots the voting by mail um, this is gonna be a real battle and I would encourage all of you to watch it very carefully and um, make your own opinion known to your uh, members of Congress. He really is going to try to, let's make sure about this, is he going to try to, yeah, he really is going to try to eliminate your ability to mail in a ballot because he doesn't uh, want people voting. He's going to do everything he can to uh, stop you from being able to uh, send in your vote. And you know, one thing is he keeps pointing, he keeps thinking that this will work. Understand that this might, you know, totally backfire. It might not necessarily be that only Democrats mail in their votes. So it's a, it's a sort of problem of his own creation. It doesn't make him look good. And that's never mattered before. But this time, it's really more serious and aggressive. So much so that I can see the Republican um, senators uh, looking worried and downcast and thinking, wow, this is really bad. We can't stop him now. Um, and it's making them look bad. Yeah, I see him like tearing up ballots. Trump is tearing up the ballots. I don't think he will, that makes me think he won't succeed. He's going to try, but he will not succeed. Because he's just ripping them up. It may not mean that, but that's what I think. Like He might just try to limit it and have some limited success or something. But he seems like he's really angry and doing this. And again, it doesn't, he looks so bad. It doesn't seem to me like this will look good to uh, American people or any people. Hmm. I get the feeling that Congress, even the Republican con Congress, will do something to uh, make sure that this doesn't go through because it looks so bad and um, it reflects badly upon them. People are going to take this into account when they go vote for their senators. So they don't necessarily want this either because it makes them look so bad. Yeah, it might be like Congress, the Republican Congress's first rebuke. It might even be um, some, um, I can see a court, Supreme Court getting in the way and making a decision
yeah, Supreme Court seems a little bit more involved here. I'm going to ask, is the Supreme Court going to fail, or are they going to support our right to vote? They're just going to, I get, like, right down the middle. They're going to be as fair as they have to be, and no fairer. Right, what can they, you know, as far as they can get away with it, they will go. But um, that's um, not all of them, you know. Maybe Roberts will need to be fair, but people like Kavanaugh have no, they, they're just sneaky. They're working behind the scenes. Um, they really are working hand in hand with um, other conservative forces to try to curtail our vote. So there's gonna be a sort of push, but it won't be, you know, totally successful. What else is, um, what else is on the horizon with Trump and uh, the United States and the world, actually? Because now I'm getting the, a whole, a big old problem with the world. You know, look, this is a pandemic. It requires world action. If we had coordinated a world action, if we had a president that was able to do that, we would be in much better shape now, and we might anticipate an end to the virus. I'm getting because that well, this wasn't done, there wasn't any leadership at the top uh, to direct this without playing political games. You know, that and it's going to be a, it's going to be worse, and it's just going to go longer, and that's going to start to become apparent. Yeah, he's making a lot of other countries really mad. And uh, it's become very much impossible to coordinate this process. And it really is like kind of pushing the United Nations closer and closer towards crisis. I'm seeing a lot of angry people, a lot of people in the streets protesting. Um, it feels like maybe right around November they're protesting. I don't know if this is literal, like protesting, they go out into the streets, but it, it could be. I do see people with masks, so it feels like maybe they've gone to the streets to protest. And it seems really assertive. It seems like these protests are really strong. Hmm. Spirit, what about um, what about these economic checks that people are getting? And I've just read that most of the money is going to the one percent. That's the source, I think, of a lot of protests, too. It's just people realizing that they're not getting the money. Trump thought he was very clever by putting his signature on these checks. But again, this is starting to backfire. All they do is look at this signature and get angry. Um, who does he think he is giving my money, you know, putting his signature on my money? You know, it's all our taxes, right? Yeah, each and every person is going to have to wait a couple more days for that check so that he could put his signature on it. And, you know, with the Democrats and Republicans, mostly uh, Democrats who pushed these measures through so that we get this money. So, you know, people are looking at that as some kind of leadership. It's Congress who did that. 
Nancy Pelosi specifically, she looks like the one who moved forward and helped these things happen. The, the, the Republicans didn't. They just found sneaky ways to hide the money and give it to their friends. This is going to be a controversy. It's going to keep being controversial. Notice that one thing that the left can do is just sit there and say nothing because these guys are just making more and more problems for themselves. Every time they open his mouth, every time Trump opens his mouth, he makes more of a problem for himself. So if you notice that the people on the left are being somewhat silent, that's because he can't really mess this one up. You know, say nothing and uh, let these people make fools out of themselves is actually a decent order of the day. You notice also the press conferences. I am seeing the press conferences, and you know, finally the press has learned how to keep pressing with a question and not to let Donald Trump just change the tune. You know, just keep at it with the questions. Don't take it personally. Just go, go, go with the questions. And this is actually really um, another way that we show what Trump's like. All he does is argue with these um, people who are asking legitimate questions. He just looks like somebody who doesn't do anything but argue. What else can we expect from Donald? Hmm. The things that he used to do, the things that he used to use uh, to um, help him, the political point making that he used to do, it's it's like a circle, right? So imagine like a hula hoop, and um, you put the hula hoop around you, and it's sort of a perfect protection. You can always just argue with people, or you can undermine and put out false information, and have a cheerleader um, website, you know, and a cheerleader news forum. Well, that is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You know, that repertoire of his abilities, they don't really work if there's a real problem. It's just messaging. And this is getting to the point where you can't really use it to hula hoop anymore. <laughs> it's becoming like a belt, and it's squeezing him, right? So these old methods are squeezing him at the waist. They're not going to work for long. And I, I definitely don't see him winning. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen in detail with this um, the election, but I definitely see him losing. I'm getting very, very messed up when he loses. Um, understand that that is going to be the most dangerous time in the few months between his the election and his um, you know, disappearing. You know, he, he's going to try everything that he can to mess up everything. So, because he knows he's going to go to jail. So, um, I keep seeing this almost, it almost like looked like the stock market. And it's like, bum, 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 zing. But I don't know if that's the stock market or the number of cases. Which one is it? What's changing? Is it the stock market or... Hmm. I don't know. It feels it, I see a person with a hot potato passing it back and forth, a hot potato. Which makes me think that that's the illness. It's not uh it's not the stock market. Yeah, wait for a spike in cases because there will be one and it seems fairly dramatic. Yeah, it's just, again, it's almost like we haven't seen the bad stuff yet. It's going to get worse. And uh, before, people were just thinking it was going to be the cities. But you know, now people in other places, not out, not in the cities, are starting to experience it. And it's going to be a real problem. Yeah. 
No, notice also something may be really important, and that's the attitude of people. You might notice that you and your friends, people you know, are really being very cautious. You're thinking about others before you go outside. You're thinking, well, I don't want to spread this to another person. You're keeping six feet away. You, know, you smile at the person walking on the sidewalk who makes a wide berth for you. You know, it's very communal in a way. It's very kind. It's very much the society that we want where we think of the others. And then there are these people who are rioting because they want to, you know, open the, you know, public transportation and they're, they're crazy people who are totally in denial of what's going on and I, I don't have any regard for the people in their society around them. Um, they just want, want, want. They want what they want and want it now. They don't care why. Notice how we're seeing, you know, our society for who, it, who who's who, right? We have these really generous people, and then we have these awful people who are living in a fantasy. And that is one thing that's shaking out for us. It's we're sort of getting an opportunity to choose, you know, who are you really? You know, are you a person that cares about others or not? And um, it is making a real distinction for us to understand in our society. So it, this is all hard to deal with and terrible, but. I really recommend you take a step back and say, what what are we learning here? Um, objectively speaking, try not to get too emotional about it. What what are we gaining? What's the universe trying to tell us? What's Earth trying to tell us? We can no longer be these people that are just totally consumers and selfish and think only about themselves. Uh, we can't. We will die. So here we have these people that are really making the right choices, and if. If you are that person, you know, take a moment and say, well, hey, I learned that. Um, I'm ready for the next millennia. My spirit is ready. It's learned the lesson. <laughs> you know, good for me, right? Um, I can't change those minds. I can't change all of those minds. But uh, I have changed, or at least I've solidified in knowing who I am. My, it's not just about what I think. It is also about what I do and what I sacrifice, what I give up for my neighbor. And do I really need all of those things that I do? Eh, maybe I don't need all of those things. It's also a way that we kind of go, hmm, you know, what, what is important? You might notice that your relationships you find are really important. And you might also find that if you're home, that you're working really hard on those relationships, right? Because you're all together at the same time. Uh, you might find if you live alone that you are working a lot in yourself. These are good things to do. They are work, but they're good things to do. So uh, if, if so far as you can, embrace them and be patient. Be patient with yourself and others as you have made these choices. You're going in the right direction. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I do get Biden. I'm not sure what he's doing here. But he kind of has like really bright eyes. Yeah, if you watched before, I wasn't so sure Biden would actually make it to the nomination process. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know more about that at the moment, but he looks really bright. I think he's still debating his VP because I see a couple of a couple of people. Remember, when we're looking at Biden, we're not looking at him, the person. We're looking at all the things that he's going to represent. He's going to be a coalition guy, and it almost you, know, you could put. Anyone in that role as a coalition builder would not have to be Biden. That's what America is looking for right now, is some person that's a nice, quiet coalition builder. Yeah, and it's funny because I see Trump on a roller coaster. That's what we got out of Trump, an emotional roller coaster. And you know, an emotional roller coaster can be really appealing. You know, you love it or you hate it, one way or the other. It's terrifying, it's exciting, one way or the other. 
but people are just ready to get off. And that's what I'm seeing as, you know, the representation of Biden. Again, it looks pretty obvious he's going to be a candidate. Uh, I, I just um, am not entirely certain what's going to happen between now and then. I'm not getting a clear view on that. Mm. I do get a new moon rising, right? And it's just sort of a new time will happen, uh, <clears throat> which again makes me think Trump's not going to win. All right. Thanks for watching.